Hi Norbert here, energy engineer, and in video 31b I will explain why a return to this old technology is justified. This is a detailed video of Saturday, the introduction was uh, last uh, Wednesday. In that video I promised to show today how to bring this stove in working order. Use oxygen for a quick start and cook minestrone, but I will give you more today. Help me keeping up the hard work by hitting the subscribe button and continue to learn about innovation that is in your reach. Watching my videos will help you to realize things that are not available in the shops. To bring the stove in working order, you have to clean it. The old food can that you see in the stove outlet serves to fix the aluminium hose. I will add also this heat exchanger if I need more hot air in the same room as where the stove is. When using oxygen, connect a plastic hose to the oxygen generator and attach the other end to a metal pipe. Blowing directly from the plastic hose is dangerous. To start a fire in the firebox, blow with 90% concentration for a maximum effect on a small piece of glowing wood. Then increase the flow by diluting the oxygen, reducing the concentration to 35% which will allow the fire to grow very quickly. With a modern gas or electric furnace it's very easy to control the power by just turning a knob. However, with this stove you have to manually move the food between the various surfaces with different temperatures. So those were the promised answers. And now we get to the bonuses. First, we have also a second larger stove of this type. And second, I give a list of advantages and disadvantages of this technology. The advantages are cooking and heating simultaneously, saving fuel but also on the investment. You have fuel flexibility and independence, with the option to choose for other solid biofuels by own to boot. You have also renewable energy from nearby sources. And you have a cozy atmosphere and a pleasant smell of wood. And the disadvantages are, first you have that the heating is only in one room. Second, that in the summer the heat can be bothersome. Third, it takes about 50 minutes to start cooking. To overcome this, you can use my solution for adding oxygen or schedule all cooking activities within a frame of time. Another option is to keep the stove warm by keeping the glowing wood under, an, under a layer of ash. There are legal regulations regarding fumes and there is also the hazard of carbon monoxide. So avoid fume leakage. The description under this video contains an alarm against this dangerous gas. Another problem, the fumes can be dirty, especially when starting the fire. So use dry wood. The stove can reach temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius and even higher. So avoid burning hazards. And control the heat applied to your food by moving around the food. Consider also using an infrared thermometer which is available at a reasonable price in the description under the video. You can then measure the temperatures of the stove but also check heat leakages in the rest of your house and understand where the house has to be insulated more. And the third bonus are the innovations which I offer. I've shown how to quickly turn a single spark in a firebox into a blazing fire in about half a minute. However, spending about 300 euros for an oxygen generator may be a problem. Fortunately, you can use this oxygen generator also for health benefits or to increase your physical or mental performance. Look therefore on the internet. With a generator, indeed, you can control the oxygen concentration between 35 and 90 and you know in the normal air you have a concentration of only 20%. Alternatively, for the stove, there's a much cheaper solution, also in the description. It's a hand-driven barbecue blower. Please note that purchasing through my Amazon link doesn't cost you more, but it supports me and it allows you to benefit from my engineer's perspective. Another innovation is the heat recovery. That can be useful for the distribution of the heat of the furnace to multiple rooms instead of only one. This can be done by air ducts or just fans. Another option is to heat water and use that to bring the heat to the other rooms in your existing uh, central heating system. By installing self-made heat exchangers, 
in the fume channel or also on the blade of the furnace. You can collect this heat and bring it to the radiator of your heating system. Or you can store it in your thermal energy storage. This storage allows for time flexibility of this heat and ensures that you can have heat even when the stove is not in use. Now, the last bonus are the calculations. The first simple calculation is that if you burn one kilogram of wood every 20 minutes, then you have more or less 15 kilowatts of power, which is at least comparable with the normal standard central heating. So you understand it is inefficient to use so much power for only one single room. Better distribute it also to other rooms. The second calculation is on a thermal energy storage. Let's say we have uh, 1000 liter of uh, water and with uh, wood energy you can easily heat that up to 80 degrees. This can provide approximately 40 kilowatt hours of energy if you are able to extract energy down to 40 degrees Celsius. And 40 kilowatt hour is enough to keep warm a house during 8 hours if this house is already on temperature. So what can I do after seeing this video? First check if you have a similar stove at your home. If your conditions allow, give it a try and clean it. Or buy a second hand stove for a few hundreds of euros. Keep it simple and start in a place suitable for food preparation and where also your family feels comfortable. Invest 100 euros in half a ton of dry wood in order to avoid smoke issues. If you are not interested in using an oxygen generator also for health issues, then you can invest in a cheap barbecue blower. And then after a while of using this uh, system, if you like it, then you can start by integrating it in, in, in a wider system. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If yes, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also join our Do It Yourself Energy group on Facebook by checking in the description. Wishing you positive energy.